How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So, we definitely have talked about a lot of Detroit Red Wings prospects that thankfully have been doing really well. Today, we are here to talk about a prospect who is not doing so hot and why it may be a better situation than most people think. Obviously, you clicked on today's video, so you know we are talking about the 6 foot, 165 pound Finnish defenseman Emil Vero. So, we will go over last season what people were saying about him, then of course what he has done this season and why it may be better than it seems. But before we get too far into today's video, I want to give a shout out to Justin Czar. We hit the 1000 subscriber mark a little bit ago and want to start thanking you guys for making the Rebbing Nation community a community. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other Red Wing and hockey fans that are already subscribed to this channel. So, back to Emil Vero, the young Finn was selected in the third round of the 2020 NHL Draft after splitting time between the Liga and Junior 20 League, putting up good numbers in both, not necessarily out of this world, but just the fact he was trusted to play 29 games with TPS in the Liga, a men's league, is pretty impressive, especially as a defenseman. Regardless, as said earlier, the Red Wings selected Vero and tasked him with simply to be better. You are already in the Liga, Finland's top level of hockey. Let's see you start to dominate or at least control the game a lot more. And well, needless to say, he did. Last season, Emil Vero went out and recorded 4 goals, 10 assists for 14 points in 53 games played with TPS and then helped his team go to the finals, recording 3 goals, 1 assist for 4 points in 13 games played and was second on his team in scoring for defensemen in the playoffs. Needless to say, Emil Vero impressed. The Detroit Red Wings then signed Vero to an entry-level contract and assigned him back to his team in the Liga, and most had him pegged to have a monster season. I mean, someone called him a virtual clone of Miro Heiskanen. Especially with how good Johansson, Sider, and other prospects were doing, and him playing really well last season as it was, it just made sense. And so far, that hasn't happened this season. In fact, he's only three games away from matching his point pace from when he first stepped into the Liga, currently sitting at one goal, two assists for three points in 26 games played. And if you are like most Red Wings fans, that point total stinks. I mean, he really had his own fan club. Tons of people saying that he will come over and be one of the best prospects in development camp. But maybe this looks worse than it is. Eiserman has become known for being one of the best GMs in the league and has been known for drafting and developing really great players. Nikita Kucherov and Braden Point, just to name a couple of his big ones. So it is generally surprising when one of his selections regresses, at least that much. But I have a theory. It may be why Eiserman has been so good at drafting and developing. We saw it with Dylan Larkin last year. He had arguably his worst offensive season since entering the NHL, and this season he's hanging around a point per game and just looks like a different player. That season, Eisenman also told him to focus on his defensive abilities, so Larkin yielded off his normal offensive antics to focus on developing a stronger defensive presence. Vasilevsky, a perennial Vesna Trophy candidate, went through a very rough streak early in his career, and Eisenman opted for him to play and to learn, even though the Tampa Bay Lightning really should have been doing a lot better and really should have been winning. He opted for his development and obviously, many years later, two cups say a lot more than those wins would have. I guess what I'm saying is that Eiserman may have asked Vero to develop certain skills and that may be why his point tails are hurting because he's not playing his full offensive capabilities. Emil Vero will be at the World Junior Championships that start in the next two weeks, representing Team Finland as one of their premier defenders. Let us know down below what you think of Emil Vero. Is he going to be an NHLer one day, or is this a sign of what's to come for his career? If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are just a great person, make sure you subscribe and join lots of other Red Wing and hockey fans who are already a part of this channel. And until next time, lights on the Red Light District.